can define default taxes and accounts for your products and customers in order to create new transactions in a fast way. However, you might have to use different taxes and record the transactions on different accounts according to your customers and the providers, localizations and business types. So in Odo, we have some pre-configured fiscal positions as a part of your fiscal localization package. So you can install fiscal localization package from your Odo app store. So here you can search for your country and you can install uh, those modules related to the package and you can configure it for your accounting. So here I have already created a company and here from configuration settings I open my company I can see that uh, I have set the country as India and I have installed Indian fiscal localization package and you can see I have set the package here so taxes fiscal positions chart of accounts and legal statements for your country will be set and you can see some pre-configured details after saving the settings like here, you can find some chart of accounts configured for my company. Then some pre-configured taxes. In the same way, here we have some pre-configured fiscal positions. So if I open one, you can find the name of the fiscal position and you can use Tax Cloud API. Then you can find the company for which this is available this record is available and you can choose a country here so if you choose a country here then this fiscal position can be applied only if the delivery matches this country that is a delivery country matches the country that you have provided here and here you can add a foreign tax id so it is a tax ID of your company in the region mapped by this fiscal position. And here you can find a checkbox. This is used to detect automatically. That is to detect and apply this fiscal position automatically. And then next comes the main part. So here we can add some set of rules to automatically adapt the taxes and accounts used for your transaction. So here we can add your tax mapping and account mapping. And in order uh, for this fiscal position export, already we have some tax mapping lines added, like uh, GST 2% sales will be mapped to IGST 2% sales. Like if you have set this tax for your product. And same way, you can map accounts like if you have set an income account on product uh, then that will be mapped to a different account like if you have set an account here then it will be mapped to the destination account so let's see how this is done by creating a new fiscal position so i'm creating a fiscal position India and here let me add some tax mapping lines GST 20 percentage sales tax uh, will be mapped to sorry IGST 20 percentage sales tax will be mapped to GST twenty eight percentage sales tax then IGST 12 percentage purchase tax to GST 12 percentage purchase tax and we will come to account mapping later now let me 
explain the physical position. So, the physical position can be manually applied on a transaction or it can be assigned to a partner on its contact form. And it can also be automatically applied based on some rules. So, uh, let me open customer form and set this physical position. So here under sales and purchase tab, you can find the field physical position. You can choose that from here and say the customer form. Now, let me open a product. and set the customer tax. So here I'm adding IGST 28% as a customer tax. That is default tax for my product armchair. And after that, uh, open sales module and create a quotation. And here I'm going to add my customer registered customer uh, for which I have set a fiscal position India so here under other info you can see automatically the fiscal position is set as India and here if I add my product Here you can see IGST 28% customer tax set on the product armchair is been mapped to GST 28%. So this is done according to the customer's fiscal position. Now, we again open the product and under purchase tab, here we can find option to add vendor tax. So here I'm adding vendor tax as IGST 12 percentage. Now, here if I create a quotation uh, by setting the fiscal position as India, and if I add a product, add the product armchair. Here you can see that IGST 12 percentage purchase tax, that is vendor tax, is mapped to GST 12 percentage. So this is done because we have set the fiscal position as India and inside the fiscal position, we have added a tax mapping line to map IGST 12 percentage vendor tax to GST 12 percentage vendor tax. So this is how tax mapping is done. So this is how tax mapping is done according to your customer's fiscal position. Now here let me open a chart of accounts and you can find all the accounts. So let me filter it by income account. And here we have local services and retail sales, local sales. So I'm opening my fiscal position. And here let me add an account mapping line to map local sales income account to export sales income account. So if you have set local sales as default income account on your product, then this will be mapped to this account export sales. So account will be mapped according to your customer's fiscal position. Now let's see how this works.
So for the same product, here under accounting tab, you have the option to add your income or expense account. So here we can specifically add an income account for your product. Or if you have set an income account for your product category, then that also can be used. So you can see income account is set as local sales. So let me create a sale order for this product armchair. You can see that fiscal position is set as India. Now let's confirm this quotation. Then validate the transfer. So inside the draft invoice, here we can see the account for the product armchair. That is the income account for the armchair is set as export sales. That is the local sales is mapped to the account export sales. So this is how account is mapped according to the fiscal positions. So that's how fiscal positions are used for tax mapping and account mapping in order 15. Thank <music> you.